Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Elemental War of Magic with the Citra. Um, fair warning, I am extremely tired. <laughs> so I apologize if the commentary suffers. Um, I spent some time looking over things. Uh, you may also see our little town over here now has a name and it is Kulan's Folly, which was I believe the last name of the uh, ruler that we just conquered to uh, take over this spot. Now this place is actually losing money each turn and I need to figure out why that is. Because... yeah. I think it could be too many shanties maybe. Let's see, what else do we have in here? That's a farm, that's a good thing. Actually, I think maybe I just need like some marketplaces and things. Yeah, let's let's build a merchant. And let's build an inn too. Now you notice uh, when I actually build my own things, it starts to replace the buildings with my own buildings, which is kind of cool. Um. I think as far as uh, I have made a few decisions, let's see, uh, one thing we'll be doing as far as, uh, actually I do need to build more houses here because it's ready, the city is actually ready to level up, but uh, I don't have enough houses to make that worthwhile, so we'll do that. Um, so as far as... Uh, technology goes after I get um, after I get logistics which is going to let me have a party of three people um, then I'm going to pour my research into diplomacy which uh, will let me get the spiders and everything as well as some of these other things I really want influencing a lot and I will probably be pouring into magic so I can start getting some new magic books. That would be really nice. And I have a cat that wants in my lap, I think. I don't know. <laughs> She's in my lap now. Uh, so yeah. Uh, we also have... We've got military kind of all over the place now. Um, I think what I'm actually going to do now that, let's see, I'm going to leave, I actually lost one of my axemen, I'm going to put together a squad, and let's see, we'll go, I guess here, I want to bring these guys down to meet them. Um, so yeah, we really, really need to find some more resources, particularly gold and especially metal, because I haven't seen any, which is really surprising. Extremely surprising, actually. A new spell learned, okay. So I could learn these. I'm more interested in getting spell level 2 though. Those are kind of meh. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Just meh. I think while waiting for these guys to show up, I'm actually going to uh, let's try out this alchemy spell. free gold. It's pretty awesome. Because my mana regenerates, so why not, you know? <laughs> it's free money. I like that. Got more 
axe guy is coming. There we go, now I have an army. Now I'm probably going about this game too slow. I should probably have more scouts and stuff like that. And sometimes the game does this. It decides to move without you. Don't know why it does that. <laughs> There we go. I think what I will do... I'm gonna go ahead and build a coastal town here. So to do that, we need a... Pioneer. Uh-oh, I see another sieve. Looks like it's the Tarth. I'm gonna be really displeased if they have access to iron and gold and things, and I don't. Okay, cool. So we have new spells we can research. Uh, okay, so that's a heal over time. Ooh, what's this? Strip the remaining life from the waste. Interesting. Plus one material. Ooh, I like that. Arcane Arrow, that's an actual attack spell that could be useful. I th think. Oh, that's not a tactical, okay. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Invisible Workers. It's actually pretty nice. Let's get, uh, let's get that one too. And continue on our merry way. Oh, I see bugs. Spiders. Spiders would be good training. Let's go chase down those spiders. Oh, that was my pioneer. Oh, hey, there we go. Uh, city defenses leads to logistics. Okay. Now I have to study more to get logistics. And I want to go back to main town. Alright, now we can build a new city. Pioneer. And he's gonna build it. Ooh, Master Merchant plus one gill. That's right, don't take the road at all, and I saw a bandit. Meh. We'll let him attack. Alright, so easy win. I'd still like to do it all strategic and everything though. <laughs> I'm not really talking a lot, am I? I think it's probably time to upgrade these guys. Maybe give them a mace.
Or I could give them the short sword, which would be nice too. Um, let's see, go ahead. Let's crushing blow this one to get it out of the way. Splat. That's a big hit. Let's see if we can't get her some points. I think we might have confused this one. He must have had a target. Yeah, their attack is too low, they can't penetrate the defense on these guys. Oh, man, he got stabbed. Yeah, <laughs> she's pretty awesome. So, yup. I don't think we got any- oh, we did get a level. Excellent. I want to boost my charisma up a little bit. Ah, cities I'm stationed in, so you don't like to be stationed in a city. Go up to 20. Well, put one point in, two points in that to get more spell power. That was a bandit that's about to attack my main city up there. Oh, look, there's another, another guy. I really need to find more resources. This is crappy. Okay, that means there's going to be more monsters. Aha! Magnar. Merchants of Kingdom Capital are known to us. Yeah, that's what the last guy said. I don't know. Let's see if we can be proactive with this guy. And actually see if we can make a peace. Some kind of trade treaty, maybe? Okay, so his perceived value, we need to start getting some diplomatic capital. So, he's actually getting more benefit out of this. How about a technology treaty? That's actually going to be benefit us. Yeah, that's going to be more of a benefit for us. Let's increase this. I'd really like to have a trade treaty though, but until it's more of a positive benefit for us, or at least equal,